Hey guys, I'm Sarah. It's a Friday and it's raining. Usually when it's raining, like if I plan on going geocaching on a weekend and I wake up the next morning and it's raining, oh, eh, never mind. And I've had a little bit of a rough start. Where, I, where I'm at is a retirement community. It's pretty here, it's got some nice trails. Uh, but there's a couple of trails that are paved, but uh, I can't seem to get to them. Like, I, I've, I've been driving around trying to navigate to different, there's a lot of geocaches in this area. And uh, all of them, I think, well, most of them seem to be on trails, so, but I can't seem to get to the trail. There's some parts where uh, you park a half a mile away to, and then get to it, but this one, this one seems to be, it's at a, let's see, I think it's a fire department and a EMS center, and uh, the GPS is telling me it's around that area, but there's a sign that says no parking, uh, or parking only for emergency personnel. So I'm parked across the road from that area at a, um, I don't know what it is, someplace. But I'm figuring, and there's construction going on too, but i um, figuring I'll just get my rain jacket, my umbrella, of course the camera and my bag, and just go walk across the road safely and walk to the geocache and see what we can find. And it's not raining too hard. It was raining harder earlier, so it's kind of a sprinkle right now. So uh, stay with me and let's see what we can find. All right, I'm all bundled up, got my rain jacket, got my umbrella. It's actually not raining at the moment, so. I'm not gonna vlog crossing the road. I need to focus on safety. Okay, I made it across the road safely. Ooh, guys, look at this. 390 feet away, good. We're just gonna go down here. It's like someone lost a glove. Wait, which way? I guess this way then. I hope. Oh yeah, I'm getting closer. Oh, this is great. I may cut through here, if I can. I don't think the trail goes around, so let's not take the hardest trek. This went to 100 feet away, well, here's a trail. paintings on these rocks it says okay so there's like a, a house or a condo I'm trying to keep their privacy but on that tree right here it says well watch that see right there it says well watch and it's got these rocks painted that's different that's cool a little spooky but kind of cool Okay. Wait a minute. What do you guys think? Do you think that's it? Right there? Let's go check it out. Yeah, it looks kind of suspicious to me, so.
that was really cool. I did a good job. Look at that paint job. I'm gonna go see if there's any other geocaches on this trail that I can get to from here. There's more, but I don't know if I can get to them like this on this trail. And there's the one I just found, and there's the other one. So, surely we can get to it from here. Oh, we are 500 feet away. Okay. The rain is... Well, this trail is behind people's condos. I'm not very comfortable with that. But. Well, we are closer, and it looks like it's telling us to head down here. It says it's we're getting closer. All right, my phone just buzzed. Let's start. Oh, okay. I may have already found it. But I'm not sure. I have. Look at that. Here it is, guys. Right there. Alright, here it is. Let's get it. Oh, man. I'm always nervous. Of... I had a dream last night that they were... I had been geocaching in the stream. And I dreamt that there was a spider just hanging out on my t-shirt. And yeah, I hollered. Now I'm jumpy thinking about it. Let's get set up and I'll show you what's in it. the swag I'm putting in. It's got more pieces in the bag and the instructions, so. Once I got finished, now it started to rain, so. All right, wanted to vlog this really quick. All right, my car is over there in that parking lot and I walked across that road to get, in the, to get over there where that uh, EMS place was where I couldn't park. 
And in the description it said that the geocache is close to the tunnel. Okay. I don't live in Fairfield Glade, so I didn't know this was here. But this, I just walked through it um, from that side. But that goes all the way goes through here to the trail I was on to get to the geocache. So I go up up that trail like that and uh, those were the two geocaches I just found were but I I came from this other way past these trees uh, the trail goes in a circle and it goes over here where the well, there's the building for the EMS All right. Well, I found Two geocaches. I hadn't planned on finding both of them in one video But it happened and I'm happy about it It was raining when I got here. I've been driving through the rain But as soon as I got out it pretty much stopped <laughs> And I got to the geocache the first one and um it sounded like it was going to start raining when I was filming opening the geocache. When I was finding, when I found the first geocache and I was getting my tripod set up to film me opening it, there were uh, these men on a, um, I guess a golf cart or ATV or whatever, driving on the pavement that kind of next to where the geocache was. And um, even with my tripod up and with my stuff with me, I mean, they just looked and waved and I way back and I'm like, good. <laughs> uh, if you're watching this video and you are a geocacher and you haven't tried geocaching in the rain, you know, as long as it's not thunder and lightning, go for it. Just be careful. You know, I wouldn't, you know, if you, like where I was hiking, there was no rock climbing involved, nothing slippery, just a paved area where a, a geocache is off the trail, it wasn't anywhere dangerous. I post on Thursdays. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Yeah, I'm, I'm terrible at navigation. It's quite embarrassing, but uh... It was funny because just as I was um, opening the geocache and signing the log and finishing up. I thought the downpour was coming, so that's why I looked real squirrely in that footage. <laughs>